I've decided to take on snowboarding for part two of my trial. Bearing in mind I've only had a little skiing experience, I have been told that snowboarding is a little bit easier. So hopefully I'm going to put it to the test. After swimming through 750 metres of freezing cold water, why not challenge myself to snowboard down a 180 metre ski slope? At the time I must have thought it was a good idea, but now I'm not so sure. If I can get past falling over a good few times, then I think I'll be well on my way to learning the basics of snowboarding. Right, okay, I'm all kicked out. I think I'm dressed more appropriately for the snow. I think it's time to hit the slopes. So how do you think I'm going to do today? Do you think I've been enough more than you? No, I think you'll do really well. I say we've got one hour to teach you the skills, and I really think we may even get to the top of the slope. And what are the basics you reckon we're going to learn from the start? So from the start we'll learn how to get the snowboard strapped in, we'll learn how to walk up the hill, and how to stand on the snowboard, and then maybe by the end get into the top learn how to slow down. So yeah, we're going to have a quick chat about different parts of the board, then we'll get us nice and warmed up, and then we'll decide which foot we're going to be strapping into the snowboard. I don't know if I want to be this way. Which foot would you normally sort of like stand on in terms of like when you kick the ball? This... Stand on your left. Yeah, but this feels weird. Try it the other way then. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Give it a go. We're going to try for little bobs this time, okay? So sing your feet into the front of the boots. That's it. So step on. And then try it now. A little bit of bobs up and down. Try and do that all the way down. Roll bobs. Now that I've got the basics, we're going to keep on going, try a few starting and stopping and uh, see how far I can get without falling over. I enjoy skiing and snowboarding just because you can take it all the way around the world, any country, anyone can enjoy the sport and really just look at different lifestyles and the way people live around the world. It's so different, like, that's why people enjoy sports like this. It's not like something you can do at school or something you can do sort of at home. So you come to a place like this and enjoy it with your family, that's great. I was 13, it was a school trip here actually, so when the first, this place first opened, we came over here just for an introduction and I really loved it, so I just kept it going from there. So as you lift them up, the board will turn. You go, you've got your right foot strapped in, you turn to the right. You've got your left foot strapped in, you'll turn to the left. It's all about doing it really gradually. If you do it too quickly, you'll lose your balance. So you lift them up really slowly and you'll steer the board over about three or four seconds. I have been told that balance is one of the main key elements when learning to snowboard, therefore learning to feel comfortable with both feet strapped to a board is essential. So, that's it now. There you go. Oh right, yeah, okay. You're going down this, you're doing really well to balance okay. it. But then if we were to do that from the top of the hill. You know, whether you're with your friends, with your family, um, you can all get involved, have a good time, you know, laugh at each other, falling over, you know, it's lots of fun. There's lots of different things you can progress to as well when you're snowboarding. You can freestyle and do lots of different things. For me, it's a confidence thing, like, it takes a little bit of distance to bring yourself on the other side of the way. I do that well. It's been a tough few days but they have definitely been worth it. I've had an amazing time trialling both snowboarding and open water swimming. Even if it was just after my session with Paul yesterday, I was feeling a bit achy this morning, but I will definitely be coming back and giving it another go. If you'd like to try out snowboarding or skiing, why not come along to Chill Factor E and join in the fun and adventure and you never know, you might quite like it. This is Kate Troy, Keys TV News.